Welcome back to a, another beautiful Utah afternoon slash evening. We are still in the same location as we was the last last video last week. Um, that one didn't really turn out the way as I expecting, but it doesn't always work out the plan all the time. So we went out the next next evening, which is actually just back behind me. You can't really see where I was standing. Um, got a couple good images there and took yesterday off because it was really windy. I just wanted to relax. And since we're leaving out tomorrow, we're hit this trail again and see where it takes us. I ran into a guy on the way up here and he said about three miles up, there's some petrified wood and logs. So wasn't really expecting that. So we're gonna try to get there, but like I mentioned in the last video, plenty to see around here, all these awesome rock formations when I was just next to, looks like a big pyramid and then one almost looked like a half swan, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, you, can spend, you can spend days and days here. So some point I'll be coming back through here, multiple other hiking trails will hit, so. We're gonna keep going, hoping to hit these petrified wood and logs, which should be able to. Still got like four hours to go like three miles, so I think we got it. So, see you in a bit. I made it to the petrified stumps and logs yet, um, but I didn't really know about them before. So if we make it there, awesome. If not, um, I'm not gonna be too bummed out because I didn't know about them to begin with. But whole time hiking up here, I just keep looking up at these cliff sides and keep seeing every now and then these individual trees that are growing um, on the cliff side themselves. And it just kind of kept drawing my attention because you got on these cliff sides, just all these details and colors. So after I stop, you know, that sun's still, still high and just blasting the side. There's enough texture and different colors and details in the rock face itself that I think it's gonna work out just fine. And nice green tree up against that just brown background just gives it that much more interest to the photo. So I'm gonna have it framed up so the tree is just down to the bottom right of the corner and the rest just filled with just the, the cliffside itself with all the textures and colors. So that's what I'm going for and we're gonna take a couple shots and we'll see how they turn out. <music> Like last week's video, start the evening off with nice, simplistic, minimalistic shot. Nice tree in the bottom right corner of the frame with the nice details and colors of the stone wall cliffside behind it. So, like how it turned out. Ended up shooting at a one two hundredth of a second, ISO 100, F11. Uh, the aperture didn't really matter, but it was already set at that, so I went with that. But Got that in, and like I said, if we make it to the petrified wood and stumps and all that, awesome. If not, I really want to get, hopefully get some sort of photo out here, but the last few nights, few days I've been here just hasn't really worked out. As clouds it got in the evening, and 
just being really hazy, especially for that sun uh, setting over there. It was just really hazy. So we'll see how that works out, but plenty of sea along this trail. Um, probably plenty of more minimalistic, simple shots like this, but we are gonna keep heading out. Trail falls this ridge line here or cliff line, and we'll see what else we can find. myself a bit of a dilemma here. I don't know if I should uh, continue on. This trail pretty much goes all the way around the base of that. And it keeps going around, it wraps around, ends up going back down. But I'm just afraid if I go too far over there, now all the mountains and all that are back behind me. And all out there is just big open area. No, I don't know. So I did find a spot a little bit back, not too far. It's all down through here. Let's see if I can turn this. Let me, uh, I'll see here. Yeah, it's kind of dark for some reason. All down here, you got all these canyons. That's lighting up pretty nice, looks like. And then you got this mountain that was behind me. So if I go over here, I'm gonna have all this behind me and I don't know if I'm gonna get a good look at these. Um, I just don't wanna risk it. So, let's see here. So I think what I might do, I might just risk it and not go any further. Um, I've been trying to photograph these for the last few days just cause I've been so far away. I didn't really, I didn't know this trail went this far out. And the further away you are, the more hazer is, it's just gonna be in the way more because the further away you get, the more hazy it's gonna get. So we are a lot closer than I have been. So when that sun goes down, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be as cloudy tonight. So hopefully some sun should be able to break on that. Cause it's gonna set down over there and hope that can shine down and light up these canyons and cliff sides and all that. So. Um, it's really windy. I don't know. Hopefully this is doing all right. But, so I think we're going to go back down, grab us a spot there and kind of wait it out a little bit. And also on the way up here, I'd seen another tree that was growing on the, uh, cliff side, but that sun was just too bright. So I'm hoping later this evening on the way back down, um, I can grab a shot of that. But for now, we're going to risk it, not go any further and see what we can get as far as from down there. So change the position, go back and hopefully we can grab something. our spot for probably about 15 20 minutes i just been walking around trying to frame stuff up see what i want to get there's plenty to get um i really like to get this mountain over here it's clouds here and there keep going in front of the sun but we got this nice view of these canyons then we got the mesas in the background one reason i don't have it facing that way is where that sun is it's I had it over here, I'm just flat, can't, not really good light, but I did take a shot of the mace over there. So we got a canyon here in the foreground and we almost got like a valley with trees and then you got the mesa. And since that sky is still kind of bright, I just threw my 70 to 300 on, got in tight. So it's just the mesa wall in the background with all the lines going through it. And then we also got these small hills down in the, 
valley that also has its own lines and then all the green trees. And there's actually one individual tree down there that has um, real light colored green leaves on it. So we'll see how that comes out. I'm just kind of waiting. Every time that sun peeks out from behind those clouds, it lights some of that up where I can grab a shot, but it's happening so quick. You only have 30, 40 seconds to get the shot off, to get it composed and get the shot. So it's kind of hard to video and do this at the same time. But here later, hopefully it works out. I know last week I was hoping it would work out also. Last week for you, two days for me. But I really want to get my 24 to 70. And I already kind of framed a panorama, zoomed all the way out to get that from that mesa all the way over to this mountain back behind me with, all, with these canyons going through. So really, really hoping that works out. If not, like I said, there are shots I can still get, um, even with the 24 to 70. So that's what we're working on right now. So I'm gonna get back to it and see if we can come up with some other images. I'm just taking a small break from looking around trying to get a bunch of detail shots that like I said those clouds keep blocking that sun like crazy um, and I just think I'm gonna go ahead and throw my 24 to 70 on and kind of frame up my shot that I'm waiting for that way when it comes I can get it and I'm not running back and forth and switching lenses I'd rather walk away with one really nice shot, then five or six just, okay, I got the shot shots. So we're just gonna hang out here. It's, getting, it's gotten really windy. I don't know, probably was shivering, so I gave him my jacket. And I was just, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna set everything up and just play the waiting game again. So hopefully everything works out. Looks like these are the last bit of clouds for a while, as far as big ones getting in front of the sun. So we'll see. So let me get set up and hopefully it works out. I'll be back with you. All right, right now below us, we got all these hills, these gray hills. They kind of roll through the valley. You got the canyons. And right down here below me, we got this other small peak of rock sticking out sticking out one of those hills and then we got the big mesa in the background like i said the canyons here so i went ahead and focused down on it all the way out it should be yeah 24 mil so i got that in the foreground it's peak of that's really nice and lit up because that sun's coming at an angle and it's just the sun's uh the light's getting kind of soft now so it's Cast a nice soft light on all that at an angle. So you got that leads in. You got these canyons halfway through, all these gray hills. And of course, the mesa in the background. In the far distance, we got the mountains in the, off in the back and all the green and yellowish fields um, past the mesa going towards the mountains. So, actually, like the way it came out, it's really windy. I feel like this thing's going to blow off but so i'm really i'm actually liking the way that came out i'm probably going to take a couple more shots see if i can't uh, see if that light gets any better at all and just get a couple more and so i think i'm gonna be happy with that one so while i'll do that i'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more I don't know. 
I just don't I just don't think with this position where that sun goes down, this canyon and all that's gonna get real good light. I think it'd be more of a sunrise, but even then the sun was set down on the other side of this mountain, so I don't really know if that would even get light. I don't know. So but I did did get a nice shot, like I said, with this small rock peak down here overlooking all this that light's looking really nice i gotta grab a couple more images of that so i'm liking the way that came out and i think i mentioned earlier i came across that tree on the edge of the cliff side i don't think it's that far away still go about another hour for that sun completely goes so i'm gonna risk it pack everything up and head head back that way plus i didn't bring a headlamp i forgot it again so try to take advantage of whatever nice light we have left right now um, and see what we can get. It might be a gamble, but I don't think I don't think it will. This is some really nice light we got going on. So even if I see something on the way back, I can uh, I can grab it because all this is lighting up really nice. So I'm gonna pack up, head back that way and see if we can't get something down there. I made it down to the tree it's just right there um once i got down here that that sun dropped a lot quicker than i thought and the shot i had in my mind is really not there earlier today the sun was real high and still real bright and there wasn't really a shot to get um so i thought i'd had a shot this evening but did get at least two or three nice shots two that i know of the first one we took with that tree against the cliff wall and then that last one. That last one was lighting up really nice. So I think that's going to come out really nice. But also, since since I've been here, I mean, this is a gorgeous area. But for some reason, I don't know if it was because I was in the wrong spot, wrong time. And all those clouds, like that first night, those clouds just kept rolling in and out in front of that, that sun. and the clouds casting huge shadows on the landscape and just making it real spotchy and uneven. But I just feel like I've struggled at this location. I don't know why. There's so much to photograph. Um, but again, also, I think that sun was setting more over that way and able to shine into these canyons. It would work out. That's what I was kind of hoping for in my mind. Even when it was setting down over there, I was kind of hoping it might cast light down into the canyons this way. And the sun, sun rises over there. So I don't even know with this big, big mountain here, if that would block some of that light from getting down in there from this direction. So it might just be one of those locations that you just kind of have to get what you can get. But if anything, we've got some nice views. It's, this is really nice. I'll, I'll all kinds of places. I mean, you can get photographs anywhere. Um, also, I've been getting up here and trying to get the the whole thing, but you can you can wander all down through these canyons and all that and find images. And at some point, I'll be back through here. Um, maybe not this trip, but definitely marking it down. And I know where to come back to. So, with that being said, tomorrow we're gonna. Get up. I'm not in a huge rush. My cousin's not going to be up at the Moab until around probably about six. It's only going to take me two hours to get there. So tomorrow we'll head that way, meet up with him, hang out there for a little bit, and see where we go from there. But nice night. It got really windy for some reason again. It's died off now. But it's eight o'clock. Time we get back now. It's going to be starting to get dark and i didn't bring my light so i'll have to end it here and if i haven't already i'll also throw up a couple of the images i took last night i got a couple of decent ones so 
as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one, and maybe be from Moab. So I'll catch you guys later.